Question from Ingrid. Question 1. Before ascension and before ET contact, about the provision of funds and basic income. I suppose when everybody has received a basic income, a lot of people will stop working and turn to pleasure and personal interests, maybe offering products they made themselves. Is there a plan to help humanity through this switch to self-sustainment or is it totally up to us? Saint Germain, that, in fact, is the point of the prosperity funds, that people switch to lives of more recreation and leisure. Why? Because firstly the old system needs to die and I say that because the old system was created to enslave you. It is a system of monetary slavery. Please understand this. Repeat it if you must. You are a monetary slave. The point of the new system is to move people away from understanding their lives in terms of money, dollars, pounds, euros, pesos, whatever your particular currency is. This will require some imagination on your parts because you have been so indoctrinated into this system. As for support, yes, there is support for you already and there will be more support forthcoming in the fifth dimension as extraterrestrials are permitted to land. Right now there is a requirement that any country, which is another name for an economic region, may sign up to the ever-increasing BRICS system, the gold-backed financial system which Russia and China are now spearheading, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, the requirement for entry into this system is that the country must be peaceful. Obviously Russia is not peaceful at the moment but it is acting on behalf of the light. Any action of war undertaken for prior reasons, in support of the DS by any country disallows their entry into the quantum system, the gold-backed currency system, the Brikes system, whichever name you like. The reason for this is because benevolent positive beings of light will not land in a large-scale fashion on a warring planet. The masses are being prepared for extraterrestrial contact again. And of course this points out the plan of the DS, to create war, with this war they know their nemesis will not land upon the planet. There is a 1000 year plan in place to help humanity on Earth. Be rest assured. Question from Irene. Question 1. What will happen with a starseed who is a great and kind but not awakened and V-slash-D? Is the V-slash-D really harming slash killing their soul? Saint Germain. The V is not killing the soul as much as cutting off soul contact. Please understand that for many years, many things have been done in the name of health to cut you off from your intuitive mind, which is your soul. Your pineal gland has been attacked through fluoride, EMFs, television, your endocrine system has been attacked through white sugar, drugs, amalgam fillings and more. Cigarettes, alcohol, stress, chocolate, you name it have all been created for you in order to keep you from fulfilling your promise as a human. The soul will choose the route that this person is to take. If they are contracted to go to the fifth dimension in this lifetime, it will be arranged. Sharon was contracted to do so so she has had a very hard life, battling darkness every step of the way, for example. The souls who do not contract to go to the fifth dimension in this lifetime will do so in another, they may even remain on the third dimensional timeline for many more lifetimes. We have a free will planet and it is being expressed in this way. To continue to believe in your current system, to comply with its mandates and dictates, continues to make one a slave. The ascended human is self-realized, self-governing, and follows universal law. To not do so leaves you little choice but to continue on as a third dimensional being. Question 2. Do trees have souls? What happens when a tree gets cut down? Can flowers hear me after they are cut? Saint Germain you explained that they belong to second dimension slash level of consciousness. Is it a group consciousness or each tree and flower has a soul? Saint Germain, trees and flowers have group souls. A fully realized being capable of independent thought has a soul. Animals respond more to instinct and plants have less consciousness than they. When a tree gets cut down, it is still alive. It has its roots and the stump remains. You will see the stump will continue to regrow shoots to create new branches. Now you see that many trees are turning brown and dying because they cannot adjust to the chemtrails they are ingesting. Plant life absorbs pollutants, and I might add that when you eat plants, you ingest pollutants as well. The tree will live on for quite a while, even as a plank of wood within the home of the human who does not realize what they have done. The flora and fauna of earth sacrifice their lives for the greater good, and the greater good is the higher level of consciousness that is a human. A flower will hear you after you cut it. You have cut it off from its food source and it has only a short while left to live. However it is still able to do what a flower does, it goes through a dying process and even that process of dying is part of the life process. So yes, it can hear you.